Village Christian, welcome to this week's virtual chapel. Glad you're here, glad you made it. I wanted to give you a chance to say hello to campus and campus to say hello to you. Uh, we miss you here on campus, uh, love you guys, and we are praying for you and so glad that you've got this new Student Life Wednesday. I hope it is a blessing to you. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into this week's chapel. Um, we thank Jesus for this time, and may it be a blessing. And now take it away, Mrs. Bowles, drama class. Here's the story of a schoolwoman village who is remote thanks to done for the night to All the students who are annoyed that they weren't together because they can have a screen. Here's the story of a lovely lady who taught drama in a black box on the bill. Now the kids are eating lunch cakes and texting and thinks she doesn't eat now. The model zooms are tin socks, masks, and red white bars. Don't get to fix her friends while you lunch. Even remote, we are together learning and growing. And the truth is, we know we are blessed a bunch. We are blessed a bunch. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Bingham and I'd like to share a quick testimony of how the Lord has shown me that I can have hope in Him and how to have hope in Him. So there are many times throughout high school and college where I had no idea why the Lord had me in a certain space. There would be times I'd be in a job or a class where I was learning skills and I had no clue how to apply them. Then fast forward to my junior year of college and it was winter break. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do over summer. Should I get a second job that I could do part time and save money? Should I take this time to go on a missions trip um, because I had felt called to it and I'd had friends who had taught overseas before. So I decided to go online. I googled math teacher missions and one of the first organizations that came up had an opportunity. Within about two weeks I had interviewed and gotten the position um, but I was a little hesitant because it was in a country called Mauritius. It's a tiny island in the middle of the ocean off the coast of Africa. I had never heard of it before and I would be the only one going. But the Lord um, had his plan and one of the first ways that I was shown to have hope in him was through the fundraising part. So anyone that's gone on missions before knows that raising funds can be a challenging part of the trip um, and preparing for it. So. Within about three days of sending out support letters, 75% of my funding came in. So I was just kind of blaring lights that the Lord is saying, this is where you're going to go, this is um, where I'm sending you, and I have my hand over this trip. Once I got to Mauritius, I learned more about what I'd be doing there. So first, the school was a small Christian school. There was about 60 kids there coming from 23 countries and speaking 15 different languages. My job while I'd be there was to work with five students who are English learners and uh, who are special needs students. So not only were there cultural barriers, but now there was severe language barriers as well. But in the midst of this, um, the Lord had been preparing me. So I had been working at a tutoring center through college that taught me how to teach basic skills in math. I had just taken a class that spring of how to teach students learning another language. And third, I had been working at my church volunteering in the children's ministry where I learned how to share Jesus with kids. So all of these seemingly random things that the Lord had given me the opportunity to do came together and I was able to teach these five students and just see how the Lord was working in their lives and no matter um, where I had been he was forming me and molding me um, to trust in his plan. And the last lesson that I really took away from this trip was um, that God is everlasting and all-powerful and he really loves his people. 
So there was one Sunday night, I was at a house church where they were speaking Creole and reading through John. And I took a step back at one moment and looked around and saw that even on the opposite side of the world, in a different country speaking a different language, that God's word was still true and still powerful. So that night there's two men who um, decided to give their life to Christ and were baptized and it was super impactful. And the verse that came to mind then and still holds true now when I think about this experience was um, some verses from Psalm 96. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. So when we have hope in the Lord, it just spills out praise for him. And so as you go today, please um, just rest in the fact that the Lord has you in this space for a reason. He is forming you and molding you um, to be the person that he is going to use and that his word and his promises are true. So I hope you are encouraged today um, and may you go in peace.
Hi, my name is John Kim. I'll just be closing out the chapel in prayer. And although I can't see you guys through the screen, um, I'm trusting that you all are earnestly putting your hands together and closing your eyes. Right, uh, thank you, Lord, for this day and just allowing us to listen to this amazing chapel and the story that Mrs. Bingham just shared with us. Lord, please just allow us to go throughout the week without all the stresses of school and just to remember to focus on you and your plan. Although things may seem rough as we're going through a difficult time right now and we're just not able to see each other really interact at all, just allow us to be molded by your words and your plan that you have for us and just allow us to trust in you fully and go throughout the week just not having too much stress because we're able to rely on you and your plan that you have for us and the plan that is amazing for each and one of us throughout our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.